This is Alan here at NAB, and I'm with David at the Ozen booth, and you have tripods. Very nice tripods from what I see. Tell me about uh, this particular tripod here. Ozen camera support is new in the United States. Uh, it's been making camera support for 10 years, but this is our first year. In order to compete in the U.S. market, we needed to be more broadcast friendly. What that means is a better heavy-duty mid-level spreader, which we can induce a four-spoke tie-down knob, uh, deep tread rubber feet, several other improvements. Uh, we offer, offer features that our com competitors don't have. We needed to have the spring-loaded capture type camera mounting interface, which we now have, as well as side load for every head. Wow, side load as well as spring load. No, no difference in cost either. We're making some subtle improvements as well. Uh, all of our systems now come with a, a carry handle that enables you to just quickly move the system from shot to shot. Sure, the, bio, the system can go inside the soft case for longer travel, but if you're going to walk across the football field, something you may just want to grab it and run. It's a leg clip to keep the legs from yeah, flying around. What I usually do is I carry it by this handle. I lock everything down. Well, and what happens, a lot of people, what they do when they do that, they wear out the rosette. Yeah. And if you have some with our competitors, the rosette is cut into the casting. When you wear that out, the fluid head is done. But all of our heads, even our smallest heads, right down to our Agile 6, has replaceable rosettes. Oh, that's cool. I like that idea. Of course, I you know, illuminated bubble balance. Uh, uh, it, it's all incrementally adjustable, counterbalance, and true fluid drag with damping grease, not lubricated friction. But this particular model, though, we call this the Agile 8. Again, available in both spring-loaded capture type camera mounting interface or side load. Considering that this 75 millimeter head has a tremendous amount of fluid drag. Now, you've heard people complain that why do 70, why do 100 millimeter systems cost more than 75 millimeter systems? You know, why do they have to be so much more expensive? And I'm happy to say is they don't have to be. <laughs> we have offered a 75 millimeter fluid head that does the work of a 100 millimeter fluid head, but is priced like a um, 75 millimeter head. This system, as you see it, is 1995, with the heavy duty spreader, with the wow. uh, with the rubber feet, with the carry handle on the clip. It's a tremendous system that can handle most any uh, broadcast news camera. That's impressive in the sense of the price, because I remember why I paid for my Sockler. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. I'm sure Sockler makes a wonderful product. Uh, you see that the ergonomics and the features are practically identical, which means that these systems can be integrated into a fleet of Socklers seamlessly. You could have one of the photographers blindfolded, put his hands on here, and he knows where everything is just from feel. He does not need to retrain his muscle memory. Oh, that's great. And uh, I, I'm very impressed with the quality of this. I mean, it feels very solid. Well, some other improvements is that the we have a four-year parts and labor warranty, which is a lot better than most any manufacturer. And one of the reasons for that is that the legs are not glue jointed. They're all pinned. Oh. And we perfected the process. I haven't come across one in the year that I've been with the company where the the puncture of the carbon fiber caused a split down the down the leg, which would, of course would be a real real bozo no no. Oh yeah. They've been they've been wonderfully cleaned with that. And it's high quality uh, carbon fiber tubes. We're gonna be in, even improving that uh, to an, an even better uh, grade uh, very soon. But this new spreader, called Contender, heavy-duty mid-level spreader, all of our mid-level spreaders will be Contender from now because we realized that the spreader we were using previously cost about the same to make. Why not give them better, you know, a better design spreader at the same cost? Terrific. We're offering all of the same features but at a much better price point, which hopefully influences fleets to say, well... You can have your Ozen systems that gives you the uh, the features, the um, the ergonomics, the performance, and the durability that you're looking for, and you'll still be able to afford something else you need, maybe like a wireless mic. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, uh, as I say... Some other, one other subtle improvement that we've done. At one point, um, the competitors went from a plastic cup on their tie-down to a metal cup, which is very difficult to get very tight. Once it contacts the base, as you can see down here, it really requires a great deal of torque in your hand. I have a good, great grip, 
but it even hurting my hands to get it as tight as it needs to be so that it doesn't uh, so that the head won't slip when you're uh, uh, panning and tilting with high grades of drag. So what we've done, oh. gone back to the plastic. Ah, I see that. Which now, when it hooks up and contacts the bottom of the bowl, it's a nice, full, easy turn. It's locked down solid. Yeah. And yeah, my hand doesn't easy. hurt. Yeah, that's my old sockler is that way. I went through this with O'Connor in 1996 where they had had a metal cup and convinced them to go with a plastic cup such as what Sockler had. And then Sockler switched to a metal cup. Well, I said, <laughs> so having seen this transition go on and seeing that we had a metal cup, I said, we really need to do this. Our customers will appreciate it. It's not a real visible improvement, but it is an improvement that they will, that will thank us for every day. Absolutely. And as I say, it's easy to turn this and lock yes, it. Sir. And also, I like how the dampening is can be changed just by dialing in well, how much you again, want. That is that is a uh, a feature in ergonomic that is again uh, uh, you could say we copied. I like to think emulate uh, yeah. a good feature of competi a competing brand. Uh, don't no need to reinvent the wheel there. Absolutely not. Well, thank you so much for showing me this beautiful tripod, the Agile Eight E. And uh, this is Alan here at NEB. Subscribe to Personal View's YouTube channel, and we'll see you later.